Welcome back to Rucker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be doing a beer unboxing. It is May. This is the beer boxing from the Fuss Club of the beers that we're going to drink in May. So quite excited as usual by the uh, the unboxing. I always love an unboxing video. I hope you guys out there do too. Um, I'm proud to say that we have managed to hit the 500 subscriber mark. So I'd like to say a massive thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. Onwards and upwards. See if we can get to a thousand within the next, I don't know, six months maybe. I don't know. Is that possible? Who knows? We hit 500 in about 11 months. We're coming up to the one year anniversary of the channel, which will be in June. Um, so just want to say massive thanks again. Um, it's I really appreciate every single person that subscribes to this channel. Help make it grow. I love hearing your comments on every video that we do. So please keep it going. And if you're watching this for the first time, then please subscribe, like the video. If you subscribe, you'll better see as I review these beers as I come through. We've got quite a few different ones here. There's quite a lot to get through. So let's crack on, shall we? Right, first things first. First beer out of the box. This is a beer from Pressure Drop. Seems like a while since I've had a Pressure Drop beer, but this is, they make really great New England IPAs. This is a Karate. Um, this has got Idaho 7 and Citra coming in at 7 point. Let's have a quick look at 7.4%. Lovely looking art can, uh, artwork on the can there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one because I love New England IPAs and Pressure Drops is pretty much the master at that at the moment. Next beer. Okay, so this is by Little Monster. Uh, it's actually a collaboration with Little Monster and Pipeline um, Brewing. Again, nice looking can. I can't really remember what, what this one's all about. This is another New England IPA. It's called Finding Space. We've got Citra, Mosaic, Cairo, uh, Nelson, and Galaxy. 6.4%, but I reckon that's going to be good as well. Again, that's a, that's a new brewery for us. We've not, we've not had Little Monster before. Next one, right, another new brewery. This one is called, this is Dig Brew. So uh, this is a pale. Um, it's got lots of house style pale ale hot with Simcoe, Azaka and Mosaic, 5.5%. Brand new um, to the channel. This one here is a box car again. Not had a box car before. This is a New England IPA as well, uh, called Duration, 6%. We've got in here Cairo, uh, Citra Cairo, and also Moteca and El Dorado. So, cracking new brewery there, what we're gonna try. We've we'll tried that one before. God, we're full of this one here, Liquid Light. This is called a Dragon, the writing is very strange on it. Uh, Dragon Nut, I think that is. Yep, Dragon Nut, 6.2%. Galaxy, Idaho 7, Azaka, Citra. <laughs> Looks like another cracking beer. I'm looking forward to that. Got quite a few, lots of different type of uh, breweries this, this month. Um, I am aware that there's still quite a lot of New England IPAs. This is a brewery we have had before, Rivington, but I haven't had many from them. I do like them because they're in a big 500 mil can. This is a Palau, 5%, but it's also a collaboration. So this is collaboration with Black Edge Brewing Company, Escape Brewing Company, Northern Monkey Brew Company, Tin Head Brewery, and Whitnell's Brew. So uh, we'll give a bit more information about that when we when we when we drink it. But there's a collaboration. Uh, another one that's a brand new beer just come out, uh, and it's by one of my new favourite breweries, Arbor Ales. This is a New England IPA. It's called uh, Galassica, which obviously. If you look at those those words, it's based on the fact that it's brewed with Galaxy and Azaka, so it's a combination of those two. Um, and Azaka, I don't know what it is, a, a few beers I've had with Azaka recently, starting to become a real favourite of mine in terms of hops, and we don't see it that much. So I did try and think, right, let's get some more Azaka. This can oh, is great as well. It's, uh, you know, it's quite, you know, you'd think, oh, it's quite sort of grey with uh, with this orange right and white writing on it. But if you look closely, you've got all that, you know, that little maple leaf in in all the all the side there so that looks pretty good hope you can see that from the camera i'll see if i can do zoom in, in on those uh, as we come in there's quite a lot to get through so let's wrap through right and this is another brand new one it's got a nice bit of a dent in it but it's a divine faith a double ipa i've had a double ipa for a while 8.4 percent this is a double version of their faith which is obviously faith is generally the you know their parallel uh, but this is a double ipa Keeping it, you know, it's going to be nice, 
big hitter. I would have hoped there'd be lots of, uh, we've got Citra, El Dorado, Mosaic and Columbus in this one. 8.4%, it's in this lovely gold looking can. I love Nova Monk beers, I'm looking forward to that one. That's a brand new one that's just come out. Next one. Ah, now, so again, I've been accused a lot of New England IPAs that we drink on the channel. So I've fresh and changed it up. We've got this one, this is a Chocker Bocker, Blocker even, Chewy Toffee and Chocolate Milk Stout. 7% Play Brew Company, looks pretty good that one. Uh, so we've got, we have got a chocolate stout coming this way. Ah, now this is another one we haven't had for a while. This is a, a Funky Fluid. Uh, we haven't had, well, Funky Fluid is a Polish brewery. We haven't had Funky Fluid since we had the Beer 52 uh, box. But this is what they call a modern Polish IPA coming at 6.8%. And there's lots of hops on here, which hopefully uh, they'll, they said what they are. I'm sure when I read it, there was lots of different hops on here. And they're, but they're all Polish hops, so they're not really hops that you've heard of before. Um, it all looks very, um, I'm sure it said the hops. It just says IPA we use exclusively Polish hops, but I'm sure when I, when I oh, here we go. Octa uh, Octavia, Zibi, Kazesi, Lungal Yeast, and London Fog. So, I mean, there's that fogs on the yeast, but there's some interesting ones. I do a bit more information and a bit more research on that one. Um, when, when we actually review it okay there as i said there's a lot of beer here now rising of dreams by flock i'm going to get through this flock is another brewery that we haven't had this is simcoe idaho 7 and galaxy um yeah so new brewery they're um where are they based based down in uh, in margate in kent so yeah not really a place that you get many beer companies you know obviously um not really big but i can't think of another Kent brewery that we've had Okay, so this is another different one. This is an overtone. I do like overtone stuff. This is an Imperial Eaton Mess Sour. So again, we've got some sours here. We've got a few more sours coming up. But this is a sort of, well, I mean, it's it, it's a raspberry, lingo berry, strawberries balanced with vanilla pods for sweetness. Then they've added a mini marshmallows. This one could be uh, a real a real tasty treat for the summer. And then in terms of the sours, while we're getting the sours out, brand new ones from Vault Vault City. I've been in, I thought that the ones from Tesco were brilliant, and I thought, well, let's put a, let's put Aaron in our pocket and buy buy them direct or buy some buy from from the bottle shop. So this is a brand new one called Key Lime Pie. So you can expect to, that to be what that to be like. That's seven and a half percent. In and the, these are, as I said, these are you know three seven five mil bottle, opposed to the three thirty ones that we're getting in Tesco. And to go along with that, we've got another one. This is a blueberry lemon drizzle sour. Yeah, I mean that sounds brand new. These have only literally just come out. These ones, so I'm looking forward to those. Okay, so I can still feel there's some more beers in here. Okay, so we've got a brand new beer from Vedant. This is Sniffing the Wrong People, 6.5%. Um, Nelson Sorvin, Muteka, Ruwaka, Nelson Sorvin, Muteka. So very much a, a New Zealand themed hop beer, but that's a brand new one from Vedant. Well, I mean, it's, I'm amazed how many beers I've, I've, I actually bought this month. Uh, this is one by Cloudwater. Again, we've had quite a lot of Cloudwater through, the, uh, through supermarkets, but I just wanted to you know, balance it out with having a, a cloud water that was a, a direct one. So this is a double dry hot pile, 5%, and this has got Kyvek yeast in it, which gives it a little bit more flavor. I really do like the Kyvek yeast, I'm gonna that many. And then the last beer in the box is by Whiplash. Now we had one of those for uh, some Paddy's Day, because it's a Dublin brewery. This is an India Palau, coming in at a, quite a high, I think. Yeah, 6.8%. So I hope you can still hear and see me behind all this beer, but that is the beer for May. Hopefully we'll be reviewing a good a number of these um, because there's quite a few new breweries. I'm trying to think, of, there may be a few that slip through the, the, the net, like, like last month really, we had a few that we were gonna review, but in the end I just drank them. Um, so I didn't get around to reviewing them, but I'm gonna definitely be doing the Sours, certainly the Vault City ones, see how they compare with the Tesco's. And obviously some of the new breweries in here as well um, and brand new beers there's a lot of new beers here so i hope these are going to be going to be good so i hope you enjoy that video as i said the fuss club 
great, great beers. I mean, I had a, because um, of the beer, some of the beers that I bought, I got five pounds off this month. That's that's pretty good. They come in within a day. If you spend more than 50 quid, you get your postage free, which I think is good value, which you know, is pretty great. And they bring new beers out every Monday. Um, I've put a link in the description to this video. Um, if you if you join buy an order through Fuss Club, you'll get you'll get five pounds five pounds off your first order. So it's worthwhile booking on there. I get a few extra points for my you know for the in, in the um, in their sort of loyalty scheme, as it were. But they're a great they're a great bottle shop. Really really efficient. Comes pretty quickly. No you know tracks you track your you, I think it's DP. Uh, DPD um, courier, so the courier is spot on. Always know when it's going to come within the sort of hour. So I think it's a really, really good uh, bottle shop, and they get new beers in every Monday, as I said. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've worked on over ten minutes now, so leave it there. Hope which one of these beers are you looking forward to uh, me reviewing? Is there ones on here that you've had before? And you said, Rocker, this is the one you've got to start drinking because it's an amazing beer. Or is there ones on there you think, God, I've not seen that one before. That one looks really interesting. Let me know in the comments. And again, another thanks for the 500 uh, subscribers. So all you out there, hope you can just about see me. My head is just about popping out here. Until the next one, keep on rocking.